So there is an article here on Medium which has someone analyzing and breaking down uh, an analysis of Twitter's algorithm in terms of featuring posts. And effectively, effectively they have found that Twitter buries or shows external links a lot less. It is, and we knew this, like this is one of those things where realistically we already knew this tangibly. Like we knew uh, that this was the case and a new trend with posting your videos on Twitter is to upload a clip or a picture from the video as your main tweet and then post the link to it in the follow-up tweet. And that was the new strategy to get it seen a little bit better because Twitter would feature native videos or uh, images and then you click the link in the second tweet. Uh, but this kind of confirms what we already know where they are burying, for example, your YouTube links or things like that. I do think this will change, however, as we covered in a previous streamer news that they are looking and testing enabling YouTube autoplay native within the Twitter app on your iOS device and mobile devices, which I think the goal there is is to still allow people to feature that kind of content, but allow it to play natively in the app so that they keep people in the app. Because all these social media platforms, all of their algorithmic juice goes towards keeping people within the app that they're on. And so having this, you know, keep you from leaving while still playing the YouTube videos, I think will be beneficial overall, but we shall see. Twitter is rolling out professional profiles, which allow people who use Twitter for work, be it nonprofits, publishers, and creators, to display specific information about their business on their profile. Now, the only example they have now uh, is basically an address of where their business is located. So for online creators, that's not super useful. But since they say creatives too, I think they're going to introduce some other options. And so we might get a little banner or something where we can link our website or our YouTube channel. That would be pretty freaking cool. And I'm stoked to see what they do with this. But so far, they've literally just kind of announced the name and that's all we have going for it. <laughs>